When playing any Battle Network game, choosing which chips to put in your folder is one of the most important decisions you'll make throughout the game. One of the most basic tips for newcomers to the Battle Network series is to keep your chip folder limited to one code at a time to help improve the fluidity of your folder. This is a tip that I made sure to include in my own Battle Network tips video, as limiting my folders to one code is what helped make me a better Battle Network player when I first started out. But with so many codes available in each game, it might be hard for new players to know where to begin when picking their chips for their folders. Welcome to episode 1 of Folder Decoder. In this series, I'm going to talk about folders that I've used in each of the Battle Network games that have helped me to become a better player and to play through each game, including the post-game content. Each episode of Folder Decoder will focus on one folder from any Battle Network game, with each folder being usually limited to one code at a time. Before diving into the first folder being featured in this series, I do want to clarify one thing. The folders that I'll be showcasing in this series are not meant to be used in PvP matches. Online net battling is completely different than playing the games casually, and while I have some knowledge of BN6 PvP, I don't have enough knowledge overall to make videos with. Keep in mind that this series is intended to give ideas for folders used in casual play only. Lastly, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a like, and please be sure to subscribe to my channel for more Battle Network content in the future. With the not-so-shameless begging out of the way, let's get started by talking about my favorite flower. I mean, folder in Battle Network 3. In my opinion, Battle Network 3 is one of the best games in the series for folder design, with tons of great chips to choose from when making a folder. Battle Network 3 was also the first game to introduce different classes of chips, with stronger chips being classified as Mega or Giga chips, limiting you to 5 Mega chips in a folder and 1 Giga chip in a folder. You can also only use one copy of any Mega chip in a folder, putting limitations on your choices. Generally speaking, it's always a good idea to have 5 Mega chips and 1 Giga chip in your folder, although this isn't mandatory. My personal favorite folder to use in Battle Network 3 is a P-Code folder revolving around the Plant Man Navi chips. Plant Man is a powerful chip that hits all enemies on the field 3 times, dealing wood damage and has a breaker attribute, hitting through shields and guards. It also wraps opponents in vines that hit 3-4 to four times after the chip is used, doing 30 wood damage per hit, which also has a breaker attribute. This means that you can use Plant Man freely in almost any situation. On top of that, these vines keep opponents trapped in place, making it easier to follow up with other attacks. For my folders, I always use Plant Man versions 2, 3, and 4. Having multiple copies of Plant Man chips increases the consistency of the folder, helping to make sure that you'll almost always have a Plant Man chip in your starting custom screen. Wood plus dirty chips are the only other primary chip in this folder, as they can help increase the damage of the Plant Man chips by 30 damage per hit, for a total of 90 additional damage each. With 4 copies of Wood Plus 30, your Plant Man chip deals a total of 360 additional damage. This makes Wood Plus 30 mandatory in this folder. The secondary chips in the folder are intended to directly help support the Plant Man chips. The first chips worth mentioning are the Giga Chip options that I prefer using in this folder. The first is Plant Man V5, which is a bit obvious. You can also use Navi Recycle if you're playing White version. But if you're playing blue version, Folder Back is always an excellent chip that belongs in every folder, especially since it'll both act as a full cuss chip, as well as recycle all of your used Plant Man and Wood Plus Dirty chips. Speaking of full cuss, this chip as well as Fast Gauge are great options to help make sure that you can get back into your custom window quickly, allowing you to chain Plant Man chips together and lock your opponents down permanently. The third option for secondary chips is Navi Plus 40, which gives a stronger damage boost than Wood Plus 30, but at the cost of one of your Mega Chip slots. Lastly, our final secondary chip is Invis Star Code. This is another chip that should be used in every folder in my opinion, as it can be the difference between S-ranking an enemy and losing that S-rank by taking a hit. Just be careful of attacks that can pierce invisibility. The support and backup chips that I run in this folder are generally Pico chips that can deal additional damage and benefit from Plant Man locking opponents in place. For starters, there are the Step Sword, Step Cross, and Hero Sword chips, which all come in P code and can hit opponents no matter where they are, assuming you haven't lost any area. 
Other chips that can fit well with the Plantman chips are Zapring 1, Sensor 1, or Sensor 3, which can all cause paralysis to continue the lockdown on your enemies. The Sensor chips can also be used as follow-ups to the Sword chips, as Sensor can pierce through invisibility and cause paralysis. Other notable options in P-Code include M-Cannon, All 4 Element Swords, Gut Straight, Boomer 3, Rock Arm, Plasma 3, and stand out if you have a fire style equipped. Here's the final build for my Plantman folder. As I mentioned, all of the chips in this folder are either meant to empower Plantman or follow up on its mind lockdown. This includes chips like Step Sword, Step Cross, and Paralysis causing chips. I also included some star coded chips, Grass Stage, and Spice. This is a fun combo that I personally like which fits the theme of dealing wood damage to enemies. Overall, I love using this folder, especially alongside Aqua Styles, which have a fast charge rate on their charge shots, allowing you to hit enemies with it while they're trapped in vines. Here are some clips I recorded showing this folder in action. And that's it for episode 1 of my folder decoder series. Make sure to let me know what you think of this folder down in the comments below. You can also recommend games and chip codes for me to cover in this series, or let me know what folders you've enjoyed using throughout the Balnor games. And if you want to watch me using the folders I feature in this series live, I'll be sure to use them while I play through the Balnor games on my Twitch channel, linked in the description below. I'll also have links to my social media pages where I make posts to let everyone know when I'm streaming. As of this video's upload, I'm still working on my Balneric 2 playthrough, which means that Balneric 3 and this folder are coming up soon enough. I hope you enjoyed this video, and as always, thanks for watching.